just to get some of the preliminary stuff out of the way, we are recording this. We're just recording us, but your voices will be on it. So if you oh, are in like it? witness protection, don't maybe know. don't talk. But also, this is an interactive panel. So if you do have feelings, feel free to raise your hand. We'll call on you. We might like not get to you immediately because we like to finish our sentences, but we will get to you after we finish that. And we're drinking. If you want to drink, it is also we'll like occasionally drink because we have drinking games that run throughout all of the stuff that we do. Yeah. Sorry, mine's weak. Mm. I apologize. Extra disclaimer. This season of American Horror Story is very political. But when so we do drink, political. when we get political. So. But I do want to say, disclaimer, I respect everyone's political beliefs, and I will try to um, talk about them with respect. And I would like everybody in the room to also... Try. Let's not have a bar fight. Yeah. <laughs> like, let's not devolve into, like... What about our emails? Like, I don't want to look. This is like not. Yeah, Thank let's you. just let's just do the best God, we that's can. That's not a good look to just run up into a room. <laughs> Actually, did your hair deflate? Maybe. It's Maybe. not good. All right. So with that said, I think we can all respect everyone's political beliefs. Yeah. Also respect. Let's yeah. keep it about yeah, the show. Oh, well. drink. We drink every time we get political. Oh my god, it's like Christmas in a, Ooh, a lot. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, sorry. I, I just poured extra. Okay. <laughs> I did not um, sure So, introductions. I'm Kate. I'm Audie. I'm Zach. I'm Crystal. <laughs> and we have, okay, so we have a pass. We have a magic word, everybody. We start our... We start magic our, phrase. Magic phrase magic we start phrase. all of our live streams with. It's, uh, we are the Knights of the Drunk Watch. And now our talk begins. We'd like for you to join us. So I'm going to say, we're the Knights of the Drunk Watch. Then you're going to say, and now our talk begins. Here we go. Ready? We're doing it for real. A lot of explanation. Okay. Are you going to get it right? Okay. We are the Knights of the Drunk Watch. And, and now, now our talk, talk begins. begins. And then we drink. And if you guys good. enjoy drinking, you're welcome to bring a drink to our panel. already said that. Mm. Good. Great. You're done. Right. Sorry. <laughs> I was taking pictures. Okay. That's what I figured. So. So, our, so we're going to go. Oh, spoiler. Spoiler. All, all the spoilers. Spoilers. If you have not seen last season, you should just right now. It was uh, a very good season. It was a very good season. Let me take season. my dentures out. Uh, I want to congratulate Ryan Murphy for landing a plane. Oh, he did the he finally. Did, he did a he good, finally landed it. He finally got, gave us a good solid season. And it wasn't like <laughs> Murder House that had like four endings. Or like or all like, of the other episodes where he oh, gave us a solid six Did anybody like, I want to hear from somebody if you guys liked the end of Hotel. Did anybody enjoy the end of Hotel? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, became, they all became bloggers. All the ghosts became fashion bloggers. Yeah. <laughs> but that for was real. basically. But for real. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, <laughs> so. Was, okay. So, so yeah. we're going to basically stick with. The main night, because we could talk all day about all the characters and how they blah, 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 blah. But we're going to basically stick with, for this season, the story of Allie and Kai. Uh, and how they are parallel and how they are both intersecting characters. One, one rising and one falling. Mm -hmm. I, um, I think they both rose and fell, like, you know, evenly. Yeah, simultaneously. Like... Uh, right, we're gonna get. That's what. Okay. We're gonna, yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. That's all you need to know. The answer is yes. No. Yes. No, there will I mean, be a quiz yeah. at the end yeah. of this talk. Uh, no. no, it will, not it will be. not be multiple choice. It will only be a short so, essay. So, first, I want to go through uh, the, the kind of the parallels of how they are almost the same person. First. Did you talk about no. them being like? The You've been here for the entire time. <laughs> Sorry. I just we don't know started. if we're supposed to be talking. I'm going to drink for my own technical difficulties. Oh. Let me no. reiterate wow. with they are polar opposites, so they are similar yet opposite. I feel like the season starts with Kai and, uh, thank you, with Kai and Allie being what I think we imagine the worst of either side to be. Like, Allie is what I think, you know, one side imagines all snowflakes to be, you know, like she has to have a safe space, she's having a really hard time yeah. with absolutely everything. And then Kai is really just like the worst that you can imagine on the other side. He's, you know, throwing balloons of pee at, at you Mexicans. know, Mexicans. 
Uh, so <laughs> this is how this is like the pie chart or the pie the the Venn diagram of how they're similar. Irrational fear clowns, irrational fear Mexicans. Like these are both things that aren't gonna out. They're not gonna kill you except this clown. Uh, but I mean, they, she. It's an irrational fear. I mean, it's just her phobia. It's a phobia. It yeah. It's a phobia. Absolutely. Um, yes, sir. Which, yes. yeah. Yeah. Which I question, who bought that for him? And who <laughs> didn't know that was going to be a trip? But we'll get there. We'll yeah. get there. I got gotcha. you. Uh, yeah. It was probably kind. It probably was. <laughs> probably was. Uh, I think the, the biggest thing is they both have a social dependency. Do you on, think Kai has a phobia of Mexicans? Yeah. I think he has a phobia his, of anything that's woke. Yeah. Like, his he's phobia, just the anti-woke. His, yeah, his phobia is of the other group. Okay. Right? Like, there's always an outside group affecting the inside, inside Kai. Yeah. So I think the Mexicans was kind of a joke. But that was but what he focused kind of. on. That's only what he focused of, on yeah. in the, the beginning. Uh, but I think the most important thing is how they have, they're, they're so socially dependent on other people. Mm-hmm. Kai only has the power that other people give him mm-hmm. and so does Allie. Allie cannot function without other people. At least at the beginning of the show. Well, that's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I think no, by the uh, end Allie. Okay, we're going to we're going to fight. Let's we're going to go. fight about yeah. that because <laughs> we get to the end, we'll get to the end, but I think that that's I think that is their tragic flaw. Right? Is that they both have a serious dependency on people mm-hmm. and they have a tendency to act out one murders. Mm-hmm. And the other one becomes a senator. I love that. Acts sure. out by murdering. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that is acting out. That is... He's throwing a murder temper tantrum. Yeah. He did. He was going to kill pregnant women. I mean, that's, you yeah. know, that's acting out. It's not great. Time out. Mm-hmm. It really temp- isn't great, though. Right. Man- oh, uh, yeah. We're going to get to the man witches. Man witches. All right, yeah. so let's go to the next, next slide. So, uh, Allie's Rise of Power, I, br- I break it down to a couple of, of key sections. And so I think we're going to spend most of our time at cussing at I- Ivy and Winter for oh gaslighting yes. her ass for the entire, like, five episodes. Who all knew that Ivy was up to no good? the very beginning mm. who didn't trust this bee at the very beginning okay. see <laughs> i was right there i did not trust this bee i was like this lady is well, I shady think was, i think it was the second episode when you if you watch our reaction videos that's when zach is like mm, because she says something she says language like what's wrong with you why can't you get it yeah. together yeah. No, no, no. you know your wife is having serious medical mental issues and those are trigger words that nobody wants. Just calm down. What's wrong with you? You're crazy. Excuse I mean, I go me? crazy if somebody tells me to calm down, yeah. like, period. But you know, Much less if I was having you're, problems. You know your wife has triggers, like, strong, me- tri- strong, like, yeah. like, strong triggers. triggers that have been proven by a doctor. Like, she is well, under a, she is under a doctor's care. We can talk about the doctor. we can talk about the validity of that doctor. He's so beautiful. That's <laughs> all I have to yeah. say. He is <laughs> great. <laughs> uh, but I did not trust I did not trust Ivy, and I definitely didn't trust Ivy when she was adamant about keeping Winter around. Winter Why would you made, keep Winter yeah, around? The, Winter, Winter was the shadiest person. Like no. she took your son to some crazy murderer house. Yeah. Why, from that point on, would you let her anywhere she near your child? She is the worst babysitter. The worst babysitter. <laughs> the we, worst. The first episode, there's the murderer across the street, and oh, he didn't go over there. Clearly, he did. Right. He's obviously oh, having he's some problems. Oh, he's making up what he saw. No, he's not. And, what is but the wrong thing, with you? But so the issue is, Ivy knows her, well, should know her son, and she should have known, well, Ivy was the one murdering the person across the street, but yeah. she <laughs> should have known that not, my son does have an imagination, but I, he's still, he's a different kind of upset than a nightmare. Yeah. And it also yeah. seemed like Ivy and Winter did not care about getting caught about about their stuff going out. Like, why would you bring the son over there, period, mm-hmm. if you know you're going to be like, murdering people like there was just no sense well, of being afraid of getting caught remember, for either of there them there was the creepy ice cream truck that pulled up yeah that first sparked uh what's this oh my god oz's oz's, oh, oz's. attention yeah. and then that's when they went over there and they mm-hmm. saw stabby mcgee getting <laughs> down yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, happy with the stabby. i just so I, I, ivy was so problematic to me at the very i didn't trust her not one so her death at the very end was so 
I mean, fruitful. I don't think it matters whether you started trusting her, like, or like you stopped trusting her instantly, or you. I want her dead the most. Yeah. And the most longest. Yeah. Like, I mean, you win. You win with knowing (laughs) first. But I feel like, as as much like as far as it goes of who was happy about her death, everyone. Everyone yeah. watching Everyone was like, yes. yes. And I think also just continuing with the gaslighting, little did they know they were actually priming Allie to be stronger. Like their gaslighting was helping her face her fears. Right, but yeah. they thought they were going to break her. Of course, <laughs> I, I don't think that's like. Well, we thought they were trying to break her mm-hmm. and get her into the cult. But then we learned, in fact, they were just trying to get rid of her. Yeah. Yeah. So what, uh, my question is, I guess, for you guys, why didn't Ivy just kill her wife? They killed the rest of the neighborhood. I think I mean, she was under the influence of sure. Kai, and I think Kai always had a, a higher purpose for Allie. Allie. Like, yeah. Yes, sir. Go ahead. To me, it's like a long con. Mm-hmm. They were trying to break her down and kill herself. Oh. Oh. Where, I like that. Where it seems like, okay, It's like that uh, like classic that. movie where they're like driving, that. where he's driving his wife insane. insane. Yeah. Yeah. Footsteps upstairs, or. But did Kai know about Allie? Did he know that, that they that they had met before? Well, I like that. I mean, I just wish they would have. If that was and if that was the case, both of those, I wish they would have shown us like a little bit of a psych. And she's almost there and she's almost broken. You know, put the gun in the drawer, like you know. Yeah. yeah except you get mad when there's any like convoluted plot. So <laughs> that's true. He does. Oh, Did you have something? <laughs> no. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, a, like, there a, was, like a Norman Bates kind of thing. Yeah. There was so much about uh, Kai that was interesting this season. I think he's one of the best characters Ryan Murphy's created. For, yeah. Even, I would say, even above, um, what is it, the Supreme, even above uh, Jessica, Jessica Lange, Lange Supreme mm-hmm. in the third season, who I think was one of the best design characters I've ever seen. I think Kai was even and, like going stronger. further, can we shout out to Evan Peters? Right? For Amazing job, all, like, Evan Peters. How many characters did he play? Any, any Evan Peters fans? So everybody should be a uh, If you watch American Horror Story, I sincerely hope you're an Evan I'm Peters fan. Team Sarah Peters. Paulson. I don't know. I'm a big fan of I'm Evan Peters. I'm Team Sarah Paulson. I think he's doing you know, a great I, my, I'm fed up with Sarah, or rather, I'm fed up with the relationship that she has with, what's his face? Who wrote this show? I can't Ryan remember. Murphy. Thank you, Ryan Murphy. Because I feel like the past, ever since Coven, or after Coven, she's played the helpless woman. Yeah, it's she been a lot of helpless screaming. Women, helpless it's been a women. lot of screaming. We do have a, a we lot. do have a drinking game every time she screams or cries. Yeah, exactly. We exactly. Cries <laughs> we, she makes it. Oh, we don't have it. So to put that to put put a pin on put a pin in that idea because uh-huh. there is a theory we're going to talk about okay. later later in slide eight. Oh, okay. Uh, we're that, only I, that will bring us around. <laughs> Let's continue with this. So I think the next step was when she lost her family and went to the psych ward. Mm, Sorry yeah. it's red, guys. I thought this would be a lot darker. I'll fix it. Uh, so when she went to the, when she got, finally mm-hmm. got arrested after the mass shooting, yep. went to the psych ward, and then the FBI told her she's not crazy. There, in fact, is a cult, and there are clowns mm-hmm. banging in the grocery store. That and in her restaurant, did, which was that, her restaurant. So oh, I think that was they a big, pushed the envelope this season with some really of the visuals. Yeah. Yes, like you the clown, so? the clowns in the grocery store was beyond. Oh, it was then beautiful. there was the Chaz Bona arm, and then of course to top it all off, they there was had the, to edit what the they mass put shooting. On the mass yeah. shooting was a lot. The yeah. mass, yeah. mass, yeah. mass shooting was a lot, which would be any day, but I don't yeah, drink. dress drink because right. we're yeah. getting political. Uh, so I think that was th- that was like the g- complete. Um, bottom level for Allie is going to the psych ward, like yes. going to the hospital. That's her bottoming out. And, and I think, the, and then finding, and finding out that she actually wasn't crazy. Yeah. Which mm-hmm. I think was 
interesting. I don't think that she finds out she's not actually crazy. No, she found she's, out her her she's wife was. She's getting the validation. She's finding no, out she her found, wife no. is. She Ooh. discovered her wife was completely gaslighting her this whole relationship. But she still has but, the, like the responses yeah. that her mind has to the triggers. triggers. Like those are like they can be. Ex- like right, but ex- how how much more <laughs> were those triggers exacerbated by her wife? A lot. A lot. A lot because yeah. But mo- that's not to say like she doesn't have them in the first place. They're yeah. just like No, correct. But if I have a, if, if clowns and holes trigger me, I can probably avoid that. But if you have your wife just tossing stuff at you, yeah. that's an exacerbated even more. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. Asylum. And then asylum, yeah. <laughs> that was just all <laughs> asylum. Yeah. Yeah. yeah There's well, definitely a lot of mental health issues that are addressed up, they, in I Ryan mean, Murphy's. And I guess this is what it should be, but it's always like a turning point. It of, is. They yeah. go there. They, they do get, always like tend to to rise above their situations, yeah, and I do like yeah. that about Ryan Murphy. Okay. Yes, ma'am, you had a, your hand up. Uh, Mm, right. The whole point was to like desensitize and brainwash Pod. So Allie's gone, and they have full control. That's why you take him to the hospital market, so you normalize mm-hmm. him. Yeah. yeah. So it's a free scene or whatever. That's why you buy him a book with yeah. a clown on or it. Yeah. Send him to the black web or whatever. They... Oh, the dark. Yeah. But I think what, I think what, and we'll get right to you. I think what they did instead is they actually did like aversion therapy, where basically they throw everything that you're afraid at at you so that you either survive or, you know, die. Yeah. So I think in a weird way they helped her. Not that I would say necessarily that that's validated because I don't know anything about psychology, but uh, I you do. Don't? No. <laughs> but I do <laughs> think. the best yeah. way to go about it. Probably. What they no, did. But yeah, I, no. it did have the desired effect. Ali came out of it stronger and better, and I do like that Ryan Murphy gave a nod to that. Mm-hmm. I did too. I have the hand up. Uh, did you have something to say, sir? Roshek? No. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I, the next, the next, the next point was her meeting with BB and um, what's her name? Beverly. I love uh, you, and yeah. so she came out of the psych ward yeah. and what are you shaking your head at? BB was just crazy she stuff. She was fucking awesome though. Oh wait, she can was. I say that? Yeah. Uh, well, we don't have kids. Okay, okay. Yeah, so. too late now. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Can't take it back. R-rated uh, panel. I'll drink. But again, see, that was her finding a new social dependency. Mm-hmm. So she found two women that she could bounce her ideas off of and be validated by those two yes. women, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So before yeah. it was it was Ivy and Winter, which ended up being problematic, and then she came out of... of I've completely ho- forgotten who BB is. Oh my she God. was Frances Conroy in the scum. Oh yes. Okay, yes. there we go. Yes. Got her on board. I just need this. Yeah. What is that scum? No, I, gotta, I just scum. needed Frances Conroy. She was the, she yeah, was the no, connection I'm between there. the original scum and the, the new, new age scum. scum. And so they found her like bargain basement, like looking for a new like. My whole life is a lie. What do I do? Where do I go? And then they, the, she comes out and they, she finds these two women. Right. Who Beverly has issues with. I forgot his name. The editor at the TV station. Oh yeah. Basically yeah. shutting her out. Beverly was another and really like interesting around. character. He was just a oh ball. yeah, he was. And gross. also at the same time, Kai kicked her out of the. She was just being marginalized the entire show. They were marginalizing Beverly, and I like that she like came out on top at the end. Did she? Oh yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She definitely rose above what people were trying to push her down to be. And I do think that the theme a lot in this season was woman empowerment. I think a lot of these Mm -hmm. women rose above what a man was trying to what they were expected to do. do. Right. Yes. They rose above their expectations. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Which I think, yeah, that's that's that was a that's a good key theme for this, for this season. For this season, mm-hmm. yeah, most definitely. Uh, and then the second, the last part was when once Kai got incarcerated, that one year he spent in jail making his jail friends, mm-hmm. his jail buddies, and that gave that gave Allie Jailhouse. that gave Allie the time and the space to really fill out with the help of Beverly and BB. Yeah. Yes. And, and grow into her own you know type of leader. But at the same time, I'm not. S- sure that even Ali, even now, even having been cured and being empowered is necessarily a good leader. Like, she's still so driven by her own personal vengeance and her yeah. own... Yeah, so I watched, because I wanted to catch up and make sure I remembered everything from last season, I watched a bunch of clips on 
thoughts or effects about the season. And one of the promos that they did was her advertising campaign commercial for TV. And I swear to God, I'm watching this commercial going, all you would have to do is change maybe some of the feminine words to masculine words, and it would be Kai. Mm-hmm. Instead and you're just changing well, it to a took, different. And it was terrifying. And you're going up against a different, I guess, yeah. enemy. She took it his game, terrifying. but she just took his playbook, is what she did. Yeah. Yes, but she, the reason terrifying. why she was able to rise to power is because of the people around her. Yeah, she's still and entirely. She had people around, her. like Beverly, like the new scum cult that she was going to mm-hmm. form at the very last episode. Like, she had a group of people that were supporting her. Now, everybody here knows that scum was a real uh, thing. Okay. Uh, it was, yeah, scum was, yeah, the, was the actual character that created, Lena Dunham played the original scum creator. She mm-hmm. is the woman who actually shot Andy Warhol. Um, if you've ever seen the Andy Warhol movie, that's, that's her. She created Scum um, and because she, she wanted Andy Warhol to help her promote it. Mm-hmm. And then she was unable to do so. And so she took out her vengeance. She shot him. Andy Warhol did survive that shot. But Scum was a, with those ideologies that she reads are directly pulled from the Scum Manifesto. The Scum Manifesto actually exists out there. You can read it. Yeah. So. Can you check it out of the library? I don't Probably think so. Not. I think it's online, though. It's online, yeah. Google it. Google Scum Manifesto. <laughs> Listen, I'm all about the feminism, but I love men, too. So That was... <laughs> I started reading I started reading it, and I was like, oh. Too far. This is a... Uh, I can't agree to this. Much. I'm not signing this. <laughs> yeah. I may have any That's other ideas about, you know, just the, just how Ali and... And or personal Ka- feelings? Yeah. Do you have How, any personal about feelings yeah. about... Allie and Kai being almost polar opposites. I thought that was the main idea of, of season... Because we're going on to predictions. Well, I, I want to talk about theories. Kai a little bit, because we talked about Allie a yeah, lot. Yeah. But uh, first of all, Kai, to me, was for anybody who watches uh, Lost... He was like a Benjamin Linus type character. Michael Emerson's downstairs. He's awesome. Um, (laughs) But Benjamin Linus was the kind of guy, like, when you first introduced him, you're like, this is the horrible villain that's awful, and we hate him. And then with each new layer, your opinion would change of him. Like, you'd learn a new thing about Kai, and you'd be like, oh, now I feel kind of bad for him. (laughs) Then you'd learn a new thing about Kai, and then you'd be like, oh, I hate him again. He's horrible. No, Then you'd learn a new thing. Like, I felt like you were going back and forth. Because the whole thing with his, like, life before he became Kai, he was kind of, he was a sad dude. No, he, well, no, 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 I'm, ooh, I'm looking back at my Marilla decks, but I think there was an issue with him going to school and his parents couldn't pay for the schooling that they exactly. gave to the, the older brother. brother. Or some, something happened where Kai couldn't get what he needed to be successful. Did his dad have an Yeah, it was something like that, and they had was drugs and fighting, and like it was a marital spat and stuff like that. Well, they didn't pass away. Uh, pass away. They passed away. Passed away. That that passed was away. a <laughs> that was really a beautiful like moment because a lot of this show could oh, hold, oh, on, hey, hold, on, yeah. hold on hold on hold on speaking no um, <laughs> it was lovely I loved it no I, what I have to say is cinematically and from a writing standpoint it was going back to the truth of American Horror Story because let's face it. A lot of the season wasn't scary in the traditional sense. There wasn't a it lot was, of jump no. scares. That even the gore was a little eh. But what was scary was the social issues that they which were Which is addressing. scarier than monsters. This was no the, joke. But that death. I don't know right, what but for a different is. level. It wasn't because of the gore, and it wasn't because of okay. the jump scares. Right. It was because we're all living it's in the world real. that we are, and we're all like, my God, what have we done? We're living in the American Horror Story. Right. Yeah, basically. So, it is the American Horror I, I do think that the whole parents dying and being covered with lie, that was a throwback to the original, like, gory core of horror for the show. I think macabre, that was... Macabre, yeah. yeah. And I really okay. liked that. It was like a little peppering. It wasn't too much. They didn't focus on peppering. it. Just a little flavor on top of the That's meat. To be confused with lie. 
Dead parents. Dead like parents. fear. Dead parents. Yeah. Like fear. Which then became just the death room. Yeah. 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 And then they were like, the just pile you that got a body? I know where to put that body. It was a family crypt is what it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, just in somebody's apartment. Who, yeah, because... Uh, Doc, Dr. Daddy was in there. Yep. And Winter mm-hmm. went in there. Winter, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's his whole family, yeah. And Kai was just left. Where did Kai go? What did they do to him? Yeah, they left right? him in the they basement? Sh- no, they shot, no, they shot I him. I know they the... Caesared him in the basement. But no, like... they shot him at the rally, at the debate. At the spe- at the, oh, debate. At the ba- yeah, Didn't they yeah, attack yeah. him at in the, the basement? No, he, Beverly shot him. Yeah, at the debate. Yeah. Oh, okay. Clearly, I've forgotten some things. So he did, yeah. he did not make it to the family crypt. Yeah. Uh, anything else about season seven? We're gonna go into predictions and rumors next. And connections, Woo! right? And connections. No thoughts. All right. Okay. Oh, they're so biased. Yeah. So, Aisha, we're going to theory. <laughs> so go. Now, this is all like I'm not an expert. I don't have any like firsthand knowledge. Feel free to say I'm bullshitter. That's fine. You're a bullshitter. You're a bullshitter. Uh, these I'll are, start it, because uh, <laughs> it's true. It's very true. Some of these are a little stretch. i got to stretch a Don't little bit. How far are we stretching? we got to stretch it out. So we're going to see how, so. how we can do it. Yeah, that's true. So let's go to the next. Let's see what, we'll see what the first. So I made some connections. So one of the connections to the universe of American Horror Story was the Scum Murders. They said, they not blamed, but they, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Place of, like scapegoat. Scapegoat the Zodiac murderer. Yeah. With the scum murderers. Yes. Mm-hmm. Kind right? of. No, you they said. were the murderers, but someone else the took the, the credit, took the, the credit, credit took for the. Credit, yeah. The, yeah. Basically, the he started sending the letters because the Zodiac sent letters in. I know all about serial killers. Just saying. Um, <laughs> wow. Well, well, in like real what? life. Not in the face, in real life. You need to have your own panel for serial killers. <laughs> right? sure. True crime panel. Uh, no, but the Zodiac Killer, he would send letters to police taunting them. So basically what a man did, some random man, went in and he's like, oh, look, these murders are great. I'm going to take credit for them. Yeah. And he started sending in the letters. So my question is, is the Zodiac Killer, Liam Dunham, I forgot, what's her name? Lena Dunham. Lena Dunham. Well, what's the character's name? Oh, I, oh uh, I know her real name, but I don't know. Brain fart. Right. Is that the same person that was at the at the at the dinner on Halloween night at the hotel? Oh yeah. And did Eric Marsh influence Scum into committing the murders in California? I think it all could go back to what's his name, uh, the the ghost from Hotel, yeah. the guy who Eric in Marsh. Marsh. Eric Marsh. The, yeah. uh, even though we hate Hotel, it did kind of bring the rest of the seasons it's together. It's part of the universe. We yeah. have to mention it. And that that roundtable episode is really the only one that's really worth it. That roundtable yeah. well, episode. Oh, what is her name? Oh, my gosh. Oh, well, Kathy Bates? Well, no, the, the one that plays so Eileen Warnos. What is her name? Oh, that's yeah, yeah. Um, I blank. Yeah. Lily, Lily Ray, Ray, thank you. Yeah, that she was the best. This but is why this she is an interactive good. panel, because yeah. we try. But All this drinking, almost. I'm like, what am I doing? Okay, um, yeah, so the, the question, the connection is people, no, there's no answer, there's no real definitive answer, but... Mm-hmm. They it, have said, Ryan Murphy has said that all of the seasons are interconnected. Yes. And they are moving towards explaining how those are interconnected. So is this, yeah. way, so then, is she at the dinner? We don't know because it's all they're with the mask the whole time. That's right, yeah. And they're the, the only Zodiac person that wears mask. a mask the whole time. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's She true. wears the mask in the episode. Yeah, she does put it on. Does. And, and then the a murders. man basically takes on the entire persona. He doesn't he never wears the mask and he never commits the murders. He just writes the letters and takes over for her. He just takes credit but for the She did what wear the did. costume in like yeah. the season seven. Yeah. And just yeah. in that one scene where they're doing the scum I murders. Can't really tell. I know you can't tell right now, but she, she is wearing it. Yeah. In the top right. Now the the, the guy clearly in season five is a man. Right. Well, they maybe they they hadn't written. Right. Seasons it's a big man. Yeah, yeah. They didn't know but what was going to happen politically back when they wrote Brienne. Hotel. Women can be big too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Zach. But not Lena Dunham. Wait, she's tiny. <laughs> she's a tiny woman. All right. So that's. Anybody have any like ideas or like nah, that's bullshit. No. Okay. I, I mean, it's all in the same universe, so it would make the sense universe. that the Zodiac would be the Zodiac, and. It, it does, you know, I mean, like, that the same person, would, that you wouldn't bring somebody else in. Like, why would it right, be right, anybody right, else? Right. That's true. Yeah. So I, I definitely think that's her. But I do think that that episode with all the killers at the table 
that was the closest we've gotten to being given some kind of explanation about how these are connected. Yeah, they're all connected. Okay, yeah. I was so, that. next one. Okay, so this is a stretch, very stretch, very stretch. We're gonna so stretch it hard. The, there was the, the the restaurant's name was the Butchery on Main. Is Ali connected or related to the butcher? How? Yeah, I don't. I don't see the connection like, at all. You can't just be like butcher, butcher. Yep, that's a thing. <laughs> no, I mean thematically, but, but also, they could be. Also, as a writer, you don't name, you don't double down on names. The butcher is a character. That is retired. The but butcher word is retired. And you, I mean, for me, when, if I'm writing, I'm going to use that name significantly in another chapter or another book to signify some kind of connection. Okay. So they could have called it the meat market on Maine or, you know. Because also, I mean, to be fair, I do think you're a bullshitter, but the butchery <laughs> is like a rough name for a restaurant. It is. Right. Like, I mean, yeah. you go to the butcher and that's fine and I understand that it's a it's a word that yeah. exists, but like. But Ivy was a female butcher. Yeah, no, and I. I the butcher was a female butcher. Well, she wasn't a. A real butcher, but she was. She did butcher some people. She, exactly, she yeah, butchered she some folks. She, she did she was a people butcher. She did, well, so was Ivy. Yeah. <laughs> so my uh, question, question is: Is this a connection? Now the original butcher's it's son died. Yes. yes. Well, she so she it. didn't have a line. That the we line know of, in the U.S. was not we, continued. We did not say that was Hold her on, only pause. Son. We have we have comments yes. for the peanut gallery. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Her husband never came back. That's why they got lost. Yeah. And where where was the original? Yeah, no, Roanoke is in it. Where North is Carolina. North Carolina? North Carolina. This is in Michigan, but there's cars now. <laughs> <laughs> there's cars in U-Haul. What? <laughs> Trains. Oh my God! Transportation. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just think it's. Side. It is a but, weird. I mean. It, yeah, that's right. True. Yeah, that's true. There's definitely a thematic connection. Whether there's a physical connection, I don't know. But yeah. in in the world of it's writing, a, I definitely think there's. It's at least a callback. I was at very yeah. least a callback. Like, hey, remember this, the butcher? Well, I was here's say, another one. Yeah, no, no. So <laughs> I just I mean it's weak, but well, you know. Well, I mean, it's think there. about it. Ryan Murphy. Lo- mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of callback. Just a callback. To like, get hey. us all talking about it for half an hour. I feel yeah, like right. they did that in season six, too, where they, because right in season six, every, like the first six episodes. Oh, or, no, season six is his own reference on oh his own. God. Well, but. Season they, six is like Murder House part two. Like, it's. it's yeah, I know, whole, but each episode, we talked about this when we were watching it, each episode also had a callback to a specific episode. Yeah. 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 And so the I first think six were it equal can to the be last six. very slight in that what's his face was Dandy's like great 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 grandfather right. yeah. or something like they're not connected but it's just like oh we're wink and nodding basically at the fact they're telling you it. it's in the same universe yeah, yeah. Like, we know that but they keep alluding to the fact that they're the same universe all right okay. so I guess this is a bullshit one as opposed to the next one this one's a real bullshit one I tried I'm, I'm what try- do you mean oh this is the real one this is one to one this is one to one where we were watching it and we we're like uh, did we we Why got is so twisty? We well, we got really confused different. because we're like, wait, Twisty, twisty died. died. That was in the Like, 50s. he wasn't even the killer. Yeah. Like, but just... Ryan Murphy did say that Twisty is one of the mythological monsters that live in this universe. Yeah. Yeah. He's so, so scary. If you're a mythological oh, monster, I'm assuming he even you don't me. die ever. It's like Freddy Krueger. You don't really die. Like, you just, like, that is Jason, true. you just keep going on and on and uh, on. Yeah. So, is Twisty ever going to be really dead? Just like Piggy Man. Was in season oh, one. Oh, Piggy Man. Yeah. He was in season one in Murder House. And then he showed mm-hmm. up again. And showed up again on his own, his own season of yeah. season six. Yeah. So, and then Rubber Man's never showed up. Has Rubber Man ever showed up again? I think we I don't know. remember no. seeing Rubber Man again after season one. Because Ryan Murphy did mention that he was one of the mythological monsters, which I don't really understand. Because it was uh, Evan Peters. But yeah, but if you were a mythological monster, you should at least... Reoccur. Come back. Yeah, come back. Or, well, there's, another, there's, Pig, there's Piggy Man, Twisty, Rubber Man, and there's another one I'm missing. Not I the forgot. Butcher? Not the Butcher. Not the what? It was a, uh, oh, the addiction mon, the addiction demon or whatever. That Are was, you talking about the, the, the guy, guy with, with the, the spike? spike for a dick, yeah. That yeah. Was, that Unicorn. Was, that was too much. Yeah. That was too much. So uh, that was a way to start a season. Mm. I think so. Twisty, 
I, that was a lot. I don't know. How did you feel about Twisty in this season? I think they used him appropriately. They sprinkled mm-hmm. him in as a story. He was he was part of the book. Like Twisty existed originally. We now have like comic books based on original stories. Yeah. Like I, I think it made sense without having to stretch it too far. Like it's and just, like you said, it definitely well, tells us this is all part of one universe. Right. Yeah. Everything references references itself. So really, what we're doing here is not necessarily speaking about connections, just drawing parallels. Parallels. Yeah. yeah. Okay, or connect. What's the difference? Yeah. Well, what I'm saying Don't is, like, it doesn't to... mean that they're connected to each other. It just means that they're showing you they're in the same universe. Okay. So. All right, so I think that's all twisty and twisty. No. Okay. All right, so this is the one thing that Ryan Murphy, I think, tweeted or Instagram. So this is the whole connect, what uh, allegedly he said yeah, on his Instagram <sighs> about what connects all, all the seasons. And he referenced uh, Dante's Inferno and the Nine Rings of Hell being... Know? references to all the different seasons. We haven't gotten Lester violence yet? Hell yeah. Yes. I was like, <laughs> I'm ready for the next season. Oh, then they're like, definitely oh, yeah, bringing like, Lady Gaga about, back. Yeah, we're talking about season eight predictions next. Next. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it's okay. Yeah. 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 Put a pin. Yeah. We're ready. Uh, See, I think out of all of the explanations as to how all of the seasons are connected this is one that as soon as i saw it i went hell yeah this makes so much sense because it all made sense perfectly i mean but you can put any yeah but kind you can, of you can you can put you could change you some could of these around of like these. you yeah. could put hotel under lust yeah oh absolutely yeah hotel could but be lust i understand why and hotel the, is gluttony asylum could be limbo like i mean they really are inter- they intersect a lot of places so but I do think it has to do, like, if you read Dante's Inferno, there, there are certain figures that show up on each level of hell that do have direct Historical parallels figures. in yes. this exact, yeah, in, this, in, in their respective seasons. And I, I think that's I, what connects them. I think, well, because originally, if everybody remembers, originally Ryan Murphy said, no, these are not connected. These are all yes. standalone seasons. seasons. They will not intersect. And then he comes out after, like, season five, six, no, but that was after season one. They are definitely all connected. They're definitely yeah. a universe. So I, I mean, I don't know. This is allegedly. Yeah. This is alleged. Well, so. I mean, as a writer, Adi, I guess, would you want everyone to know in the very beginning that they're it's all a... connected, or would you have made up your mind at the very beginning? That's what that I'm saying. Like, connected? it's also possible that he started with this idea of creating individual stories, mm-hmm. and then. You know, as he got done with the first one, he was like, no, I need to explore this universe that I've created further. And and it's always fun. It's always fun to get your fans all, like, jazzed up to talk about, like, ooh, did you see that? Did you see that? Yeah. Did you see that? I mean, like, it creates theories. It creates a conversation. So. Easter eggs and things yeah. like that, yeah. Who doesn't love Easter eggs? Any feelings about how the seasons are connected? Do have any theories, ideas? Any random I things love, we haven't discovered? While they're thinking about that, I really love like explaining to people who haven't watched American Horror Story if they're on the fence and it's not like, oh, I'm, I like because people are on the fence of like it's just too scary or too graphic or I don't like it. But if people are like, ah, I just never got into it. My big thing to tell them is I really like the fact that they keep using the same actors in completely different things. Yeah. And they're like, I'm sorry, what? And I'm like, they're like the same actors have been in all the seasons, a lot of them but they're completely different and they get to like just do this whole range and that kind of draws people in more than anything else oh, I think absolutely. which I like the how they do that yes like they're having to go through it yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and encountering different souls and that's what I was saying She's just repeating her hell over hell and over. over, and over. So, uh, but they're, but and they're also powerful, powerless. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. I do like this idea of like the soul traveling through it because if you know the final um, step of the circle of hell is where you go down to where all the betrayers are and where Satan is ruling over hell. He's the final step. So it would make sense that violence would be the last season hmm. because that's where they would probably face the big bad. That's so true. we're going to season Whatever more Whatever the violent big bad than... is. Oh, well, I mean, if violence hasn't been taken, yeah. Wow. Which, do, do you really think there's another season out there that has been? There's been some violent seasons. 
Yeah. But I mean, nothing, Asylum like, was pretty violent yeah, in, but in its depiction. To an extreme? But, Are we saying that there's a season Yeah, there? it's about a the, season the, out there to the, the main extreme. idea would be violence. No, that no we've I'm seen saying yet. that we've seen oh, yet. Oh, okay. Is there a season already that you could say it was all violence all the time? Asylum, maybe? Asylum was no, pretty violent. Uh, no, Asylum was kind of Yeah, well, I mean, it, like mentally, it, maybe it was just violent to my brain. Assaulting. That assaulted me. Yeah. In the lineup, yeah. yeah. Like mm-hmm. even though they all, because they're all connected, because it's all hell, but. But it was a secondary thing. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Primary. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That See, gets she me. Has better words than I do. Right? So then we're gonna get one that's violence for violence sake. As so I'm, I'm really to, excited like, then to see that final because uh, again, it's not just the circles of hell. You also have to face the big bad at the exactly. end. Exactly. And if your final season is violence. But then you also have to write it well. Ryan uh, Murphy. How do you Ryan write Murphy. violence? Listen, how he do you... did this season. No, he didn't. I he didn't out, write he this didn't season. Write well, season. this season off. happened. Yeah. So <laughs> if this season <laughs> happened, then other seasons okay. can happen. But Murder House happened, and then we got Hotel. So... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, be, so for the record, Murder House was the only season that I had seen all the way through until we started watching it together yeah. in season six because I would just watch it and then lose interest and I would try to keep like but I've so I've watched the first like eight episodes of all the other seasons except for Murder House. I want to take I want to take a little bit of a poll uh, I'm going to list these and I want you guys to lift your hands depending on who is the which season is your favorite okay so whose se- favorite season is Murder House oh, by far Okay, Murder House. Oh, okay, whose favorite season was Asylum? Okay. Oh, oh y'all that's are fucked good. Up. That's good. <laughs> <good. laughs> Tiny ears, Crystal. Y'all need, y'all need to go. go. Need to go. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see Tiny Oh, ears. no, small child. He I'm walked so in. Fucked up. Oh, oh, we're so sorry. This is an adult one. Okay, uh, what about... Uh, yeah, right. Coven. Uh, whose favorite season I is Coven? Love I, I love Coven. I love Coven. 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 I do love Coven. Mm. This is my second favorite. That was a solid season. I think one of the best. Uh, okay, freak who's Freak Show? Freak Show, favorite? Really? Nice. really? This is nice. kind of like super even. This is, this yeah. is very even. Ooh, and based on such a real story. Sorry, say again? Mm-hmm. Visually? Uh, Hotel, I think, did a good job visually, just plot-wise. It was thin on the ground. Who liked Hotel? Hotel. <laughs> Rick. Right. Really? Oh, yeah, tell me why. Tell us why. And with vampires. <laughs> it's like I think the vampires is where they went wrong. Yeah, me too. Yeah, well, the children of the damned was where they I went. Like, why did they go? They mess it up. You, Sorry, what were you saying? You were saying something? Okay. But the, it's like you got vampires and you just you just. Yeah. Yeah. Can we can we at least agree that Elizabeth Taylor was the best part out of oh, that absolutely. season? Oh, um, well, by far. And yeah. every. Every I mean, season. he is really one of the, the love, top actors yeah. in, in this show. Uh, who liked um, uh, Roanoke? Did, oh, Roanoke? Oh, Roanoke. I like Roanoke. I, I like Roanoke. Roanoke. We were really hyped for Roanoke. Until, until, yeah. <laughs> the mother's love, He yeah. could not close that season. He could have. Ryan Murphy cannot close. He, then, uh, he sets up a great show, and then he can't close it. All right, so let's go to the next, because we're going to talk about season eight now. Yeah, season we got eight. other stuff. Season eight. Here we go. So this is the confirmed cast so far. Oh, really? Is yeah. Susan Lucci? Is that That's that not is? Susan Lucci? Oh, my God. That is Joan motherfucking Collins. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Ooh. Look at him. Drake. He's out. He's out. He's out. Right, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you, you called him Susan Lucci? I got to go. I got to go. I'm out. So, yeah, I've been offending people so left and right. Joan Collins, is playing, uh, Joan Collins is playing Evan Peters' grandma. 
Yes. Yes. Oh. I'm excited. Evan, play, Evan Peters is playing a gay hairdresser, yep. and his grandma is Joan Collins. Sorry, yes. what did you? Did you have something to say? Sorry, we don't mean to interrupt. Somebody said something. Oh. Okay. Oh. So the second person is Kathy Bates. She's back. Yay! Yay. She's gonna have a starring role this year. I'm her. ready. I am so ready. Be, yeah. It's coming from back over here. It's fine. So she'll have a. Whatever. So she'll have a. As what? Oh, that's the. Oh, is that over here? His. Uh, and then Sarah Paulson, of course, is back again for the season. And then Cheyenne Jackson, Evan Peters, and Adina Porter. Oh, I'm yeah. so glad Adina yes. Porter is coming so back. They're all, they're I all really back. need Adina Porter to get her own season. Like, yeah. can we get a season where she's... That was last season. Was, that was last, that no, was Roanoke. No, that was Allie and... Roanoke was her season. Angela no, Bassett's season and Sarah yeah. Paulson's season. No, it wasn't. I need a starring role for Adina Porter. This woman is incredible. Go watch yeah. True Blood. That's oh, not a starring oh. role. Adina Worst Porter mom is amazing ever. in True Blood. Yeah, I think she's. I think it's time. Well, she, yeah, of course, I would, wa- I would watch it. I would definitely oh. watch it. Okay, yes to Cheyenne Jackson. So, and, yeah, yeah. Cheyenne. Look at that smolder, though. Drink. Okay, <laughs> sorry, sorry, I got distracted. We drink every time we visually molest So this is actor. rumored cast. <laughs> There's people who are rumored <gasps> to Shut be. the front Shut door. She... <laughs> I had not seen so Angelica Houston. Houston. Angelica Houston is rumored. I think last I read, the last I read was uh, Ryan Murphy was in negotiations with her to come in and play. I just Shut feel up. like, like, just a boy sure fine. That is strong that's women strong, across right? the board. Whoa! And like if we're gonna do sorry, like, sorry, if we're gonna do a real lusty season, I think Lady Gaga is definitely gonna yeah, come back for that. Yeah, so let's go to what it's about. Okay. So this is the confirmed details that I have so far of what season eight is going to be. So they start primary shots in June. Uh, Ryan Murphy did say it's going to be set in the future. We don't know Ooh. how far in the future. Do you have any? 18 months? After Colt? In the future? Because Colt was... All right, while she Googles it. Yeah, I think he... At the time, it was like, I'm not sure if it's going to be like 20 years or like, but it's going to be in the future. Uh, he, they, I did read he's coming back to the sci-fi ex- aspect, so he's leaving, uh, he's leaving like the whole realism, realism. out yeah. of it this year. Thank so you. Be, yeah. Okay. Okay. So for when it airs, it'll be okay. Oh, okay, that's cool. Um. So yeah, Evan okay, Peters is a gay hairdresser. Uh, he also said there's gonna be three new actors of color who will get lead roles. So he's yeah. trying to put in more actors of color yes. into. So maybe Adina Porter is gonna get. No, he said but new. new. He said new. So I don't know. I don't. Who can be a new? Who's a new hot like? Michael B. Oh. oh yeah. There's no way Michael B. Jordan's gonna oh, like yeah, slum it in AHS. <laughs> uh, man, he got Lady Mother Gaga on season five. You can't tell me Lady Gaga is. But not new. You cannot yeah, tell me true. Lady Gaga is smaller than Michael B. Jordan. I mean, maybe, maybe Angela Bassett can like lure him over. I would watch that. I would watch that. I would watch that. Not in that. Season. Not in that. <laughs> if we want a lustful, if we want a lustful season, I mean, I'm. It's there. I think you should oh, drink. Oh, I think you're listening. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so no, yeah. it's less now. We've decided. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's less now. Michael B. Jordan's gonna be with. Uh, Ad- 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 I'm already lustful. Um. So the like, so I guess that he always he's been teasing about this murder coven, murder house mashup. coven mashup. So I'm assuming that's gonna be the last. I could set, I could see that. If you're being gonna violence. do violence, mm-hmm. yeah. I like that we've just like fully on board with. We're there, like happening. that's it. Lost, what she yeah, said sure. is true, and mm-hmm. no one says <laughs> otherwise. But I mean, it's but the thing is, who would going into the mash the mashup of coven and murder house? Who is gonna play what? Because like I guess Sarah Paulson will play the supreme. You have and coven. to bring Jessica Lang back. Oh yeah. Oh, she, well, Jessica Lange has to come back and play Constance because that yeah she can't play that that, that Damien kid's still out there. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, the demon child. And I think that may be the devil that we're going to talk about. The big bad. We're the big meet bad. Up with because he I'm is. I'm so excited. He is. A, <laughs> he's the baby of she spirit just got and hyped. human. So. So yeah. Uh-huh. 
We're, we're writing the episodes for Ryan Murphy. You're right. Yeah, so Ryan Murphy, pay attention. So should we always tell him that. And so uh, apparently they found what out that this? someone had trademarked Radioactive for FX and Ryan Murphy is on there. And so they're saying that the new season may be called AHS Radio Radioactive, Radio. which may be after like a nuclear oh, war. Oh, that's interesting. But you could put like, you could put like sexy, oh, yeah. sexy, zo- sexy zombies. Or like gonna have muscle uh, zombies. Sexy mutants. Sexy mutants. So. I think that's what Freak Freak Show was about. (laughs) Yeah. Sexy mutants. Yeah. I agree. All right. So that's all the slides. Anybody have any questions or comments? Comments. Three remarks. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but then so maybe that's season nine. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, this is what I found. Again, just, we know lust and violence are the two that are left. We're just making the assumption lust yeah. will be next. This was this was filed filed March <laughs> 6, thousand eighteen. This was recent. Yeah. The other side too is that they may go violent and just get really lusty and that way they shut down and that's like But uh. is it se- could it be something <laughs> so other what? than sexual lust? Could it be lust Why? for yeah, something? Yeah, I mean there's well, absolutely Why, it would be other things. There's other things. Look, you're just thinking about Michael B. Jordan. You need to calm down. <laughs> Y'all brought that up, okay? And also <laughs> <laughs> the thirst in this room. Uh, <laughs> he was great. Uh, I just he want Jessica really Lang good. to come back for at least one season. I she has was, to. Jessica Lang should She's already came. got a relationship with if, Ryan Murphy still ongoing. If Jessica Lang was going to come back, I'll say it. I said it once, I'll say it again. She should have came back for that one quick shot of the butcher. She should have played the original butcher. There was like one quick pan. It should have been Jessica Lang. Yeah. Yes. That would have been great. Well, Ryan I mean, Murphy messed up right Kathy Murphy. Bates did a fantastic job. No, 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 no. But Kathy Bates was the actress. She was the actress That's playing true. the butcher. The original yeah. butcher was just one shot. There was at a the guest end. role spot for the real butcher. Yeah. And Jessica Lang should have been the been real awesome. butcher. And that would have been mind blown. We would have been would've, hype. Yeah. yeah. We, I, I was hyped. They're like, it's going to be we a knew it was it's gotta be, and it Y'all got to watch our videos to see how angry it was, Zach got. It was so bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's bad. It was some very nice character actress from L.A. <laughs> I'm sure she's a lovely uh, woman. She was wonderful but in her flash. A Jessica Lang, yes. does she not make? No. Uh, okay, are we, are we out of time here? We're almost out of time. So, we really got minutes. Uh, just real quick, and everybody's going to go to the Tom Holland strip show. So, uh, <laughs> Drink or oh, lusting. If you do not... So we're, we're plan B is what you're saying. I, I am oh, cool wow. with being plan B to Tom Holland. Fine with it. Excuse we're me? We're a dank ass plan uh, B. That's, that's fine. That's a really good so, plan B. if you have not gotten a raffle ticket, we have a raffle prize. So, Chris, do you want to pass the raffle, t- raffle tickets out? Okay, sure. Oh, we didn't uh, pass them out yet? We did. We uh, did. If you haven't done so. We, I know some people keep uh, So it. we are a YouTube channel. We do this stuff every single week. We do. We are Right now we're watching Westworld. So if you're up to date with Westworld and all those And you want to nerd out, like, we that's have, what we do. We drink and we nerd out. We have about enough. And we do, so what we do is we do uh, not really live reaction videos, but we do live post-show discussions. Yeah, we have pins up here. Do you want to? And we're in the chat. So if you want to do this stuff about Westworld or whatever, like weekly, we're there to. So I haven't seen any of the next season of Oh, it's so good. It's everywhere. Uh, we don't want to spoil it's it open, for anybody. It's, it's opened up. They branch out. They branch out. Oh, and if you'd like, you so can good. also go back. We did a reaction video to uh, the original Westworld, the movie. The movie. Oh, yeah, because yeah, a lot of us hadn't seen it yet. Don't watch it. Watch us. Don't watch the movie. The movie's not bad. It's just it's nothing ch- happens. It's like a Terminator chase scene. It's an hour it's and a half chase scene. It's literally just like an hour and a half scene of, you of can Terminator watch, you Yul can Brenner. Watch the, if you have not seen Westworld, the movie, you can watch the preview for it, and it is literally every, every important <laughs> scene. Because <laughs> <laughs> 70s. Yeah. Oh. I'm excited to see the new one. <laughs> that is so good. No. I gotta watch the movie. The, oh, yeah, the preview for Westworld. We're doing this. Yeah. 
So we'll also be doing Game of Thrones when it comes back. We are doing a Game of Thrones panel tonight at 6.30 in the big room. A big big room. A big room. Get your friends, get your people. So it's not what it says on our tickets. Get your wives, get your kids. Can't hear what? No, don't bring your kids. We're doing Game of Thrones. (laughs) Game of Thrones. Thrones. 6.30. And uh, you may also see our Night King and his dragon wandering around. Get heated. He He'll was, be wandering around the the uh, main uh, yeah, comic palooza section. Yeah, he he'll be wandering around the main floor when we get when we leave here. He actually wears that thing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, that was you. Yeah, no, yeah, because this is yeah, yeah, yeah. This is from San Diego. Yes. Yeah. All of our panels are on YouTube, so if you can't make it yes. tonight, and last year's are on and YouTube. last year's are on. No, on our YouTube page. But also, like, yeah, we're streaming. We're, we're not streaming. We're not streaming. No, the wi- we're just uploading. The Wi-Fi sucks here. Tonight. Oh, wait. I I'll, got do it, I'll do it tonight. Last night I had a podcast to make, so tonight I'll upload all the Oh, we videos. also have podcasts under Nights of the Drunk Watch. So if you just want to hear us yell at each other. If you're other. single and horny, we have a podcast just for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good, actually. Well, I drink all on farmers God. for three hours. <laughs> right. There we go. That's like the rural juror from. It is, uh, yeah. but just for you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I'm looking for a Lisa, Lisa Perales. Hey, oh, Lisa. Lisa. Good job. Good dinner. Congrats. Um, any last minute things anyone wants to say or get off your chair? Yeah. Yes. Now is the time for people to be therapeutic. Oh my so God! Good. How did we not talk about Billy Eichner? He was so Zach. we were so excited. We had about a lot him. to talk about, especially with predictions and yeah. things. Yeah, but I so like I, I like Billy, Billy Eichner when he, did, <laughs> when he does Billy on the street. When he did, he used to do a so segment. So I, I first encountered him. I didn't encounter him until the office, and that was super irritating without any context. So I did not. I like think you him. mean Parks and Rec. Until no, no the office. Oh. I loved him in Parks and Rec. Oh no, it was it was Parks and Rec. Sorry, you're right. You're right. Yeah. I've been watching both of them, but yeah, and I did not. I didn't. It was just too irritating. But having seen the whole concept, I oh, love he's it in. Now. He's in this next season too. Yeah. Yeah. I found him. I just couldn't put a race picture on the slide. Yes. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, you rock. Actually, on the app, if you go to the app, guys. We paid him. If you go. Plants. <laughs> Wait, he gets paid. And I don't get paid. <laughs> uh, Wait, so we're getting paid. If you go to the if you go to the app, guys, rate us a three or a four or five. Uh, don't we're not gonna do that. Just yeah, just don't don't do it. Don't tell anybody. Because <laughs> uh, that app just helps. hate us in silence. That helps. That uh, that app helps. Arnold Palmer. Oh, Palmer. Oh. That app helps Comic Palooza know what to program next year. And we so will be here next year. They, well, if we get rated low. If they keep, yeah, if they the keep charging me these them. outrageous yeah. prices, <laughs> rent is too damn high. Yes. Do y'all think there's any, like, seeds, like, relevance of, like, Ivy, Meadow, Winter, like, all the different, like, outside nature Oh, I didn't even catch that. Yeah. I mean, we t- I think we talked about it a little bit. Okay, I told you were others. Those are the three that come to mind. That was, like, the first thing I saw. And as soon as they did all the same back to back, I was like, I feel like everyone has a nature thing in their name. And it never really, like, well, Ivy, Winter, and who, who is Meadow again? Meadow. So, Wiley Agner's wife. If you notice, they're all left-leaning snowflake characters. So I feel like that was a, a, a like wink, a hippie, wink to, like, like hippy-dippy, lefty, democratic. But she was a big... Originally, she Hitler was. Stance. So I think that's kind of a wink-wink, like, snowflake, white girl names, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> I mean that, but uh, yeah. I mean, not, not that we have it. anything against any of those names. We're no. just saying that that's what some people probably yeah, like. That's what Ry- Ryan Murphy and said. And Kai sounds like an intergalactic warrior. It does. I right? guess. I'm, I'm, that's my program. We're done. So let's raise our glass. Okay. Yeah. So we are the Knights of the Drunk Watch. And, and now, now our talk has ended. ended. Good night, everybody. Thank we'll, you so thank much. You guys. We'll see, see you at six thirty. Six thirty. Get there early, cause. If you want a photo with this guy, come around the main area. I'm going to have a huge drink.